Hey everyone, welcome to IPO Market Watch. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. We're going to talk about our Terrace IPO review, initial public offering of a company that is going public soon. And this company, ticket symbol is AIP. It is going public on October 27, 2021. Price range is going to be 14 to 16 US dollars, and they're going to offer 5 million shares. So we are a leading provider of interconnect and other intellectual property technology that manages the on-chip communications in system on chip semiconductor devices, right? In the SOC semiconductor devices. Interesting so far, I would say, right? It is though the beginning. Let's see if this is a buy or not. I like the fact that it's 14 to 16 US dollars, but we'll have to see the market cap and all that stuff. 5 million shares. I like what they're working on, right? Communication systems, on-chip, semiconductor devices and all that. So our products enables our products enable our customers to deliver increasingly complex SOCs that only process data but are also able to make decisions. Growth in the total addressable market for our solution for our solutions is being driven by the addition of more processors, channels of memory access, machine learning sections, chiplets, additional input output interface standards, and other subsystems within the communications and system on chips some of their customers that you can see here rb you guys remember rb the company from israel that was uh that we talked about through a spac deal uh auto chips uh who else black assassin bosch is a customer and let's see if we have anybody those that we might know horizon robotics so artist has filed for 75 million dollar ipo the firm provides interconnect and related ip technologies for system on chip semiconductors management is headed by president and ceo charles janik who's been with the firm since 2005 was previously president and ceo of nanomix the company's primary target uh, market is for automotive artificial intelligence 5g wireless communications data center hyperscale companies and consumer electronics he has received $15.8 million in equity investments from uh, Ventec Capital. Recently, it acquired Magellan Design Services SA to enhance IPO deployment capabilities. So their product, Semiconductor IP, it is their network on-chip interconnect IP, is the communications backbone for your SOC, allowing you to make more complex chips in less time. IP deployment technology, our IP exact based technology automates your SOC and HSI software design flow. Major competitive or other indis, uh, other major the competitors, let's say, all right, is Intel, Samsung, Qualcomm, Toshiba, NXP Semiconductors, Broadcoms, ST Microelectronics, Apple, MediaTek, Taiwan Semiconductors, all of these companies, all of them are minimum $50, $60 and up, right? In, on the stock market. Uh, they're all big, 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 big competitors, really big, making artists seem like a, a you know really tiny in front of them. Now, total revenue for the for 2019, it was just $31.5 million. So I'm not saying, when I say just, I don't mean anything negative, but it is a small company. That's what I want to emphasize. In 2020, they went up 1% only in revenue. Again, $31.8 million. And then for the first six months, 2021, with the whole demand and shortages and everything that is going on with the chip world and semiconductors, they went up 59.7% to 17.4 million for the first six months, 2021. The gross margin is very impressive, very impressive. At over 90%, the gross margin. Net income loss went from 4.6 in 2019, 3.2 2020, 10.6 for the first six months, 2021. As of June 30, 2021, it had $14.8 million in cash, $53 million in total liabilities, and their free cash flow, very impressive, at $239 million. Market cap, $449 million. All right, so it's $449 million, $450 million. It is a very small company. Enterprise value at $368 million. Price to sales at $11.7. EV to revenue at $9.6. EV to EBITDA negative $39.1. Earnings per share is at negative 22 cents. Flow to outstanding shares ratio at 16.6%. Free cash flow yield per share is negative 0.05%. And the revenue growth rate is at 59.7%. I'm going to go with a three and a half. I want to go a little bit above neutral and towards the buy zone for this. I am a little bit um, concerned with the competitors. The competition is really, really, really fo so far ahead of them. Um, big names, you know what I mean? 
but they are showing promises for sure and they do have impressive gross margin they do have free cash flow that is pretty good for what for who the company is and what they are so overall i like artists I, I i like this company i think they're pretty cool i if they open up at 14 us dollars i would think that personally speaking for me i would like it if they open up at 20 plus i'm not going to buy thank you very much for watching this video wish you guys all the best take care